Okay. The same, the same. You're muted. Hello. Mm -hmm. you're muted. Yeah. Because um, in theory, testing, if testing. you're yeah, if I'm muted, uh, if I'm muted, you guys are not necessarily. That means we're muted too, huh? No, this no. is only Wooster's <laughs> muted. <laughs> So, maybe let's see uh, yeah yeah uh i i can actually see your bars going up and down without doing any changes that that means you are working i did not check mine because i couldn't check the microphone while i was in the uh in the uh, in the in the uh, in the mode uh did we just freeze we we did just freeze didn't we Oh, we bet yes uh, yeah we did uh what's going on why are you freezing why uh, are we free? Because it's cold. That's why. <laughs> so, uh, should we turn up the heat? We'll so, stop freezing we, so much. So, should we let it go, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Uh, fudge. Where is the. Why is camera frozen? Uh, boom, ba, ba. uh that, that should frozen, not maybe? happen. Uh, no, my, my screen is showing you moving. Why is OBS not, not showing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is when we like start pulling all the weird poses and then it goes on to the stream. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> booties. Okay, now now it's gone. If you love and it's not and you think I'm sexy, <laughs> come on, baby, let It's not detecting me know. the window anymore, so I'm gonna exit Zoom and I'll be right back with you guys. So maybe that will fix it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I put your shirt back on. Uh, well, well, well. That's embarrassing. I don't know what happened. It was working just fine over there. Uh, but we'll uh, solve this issue. It isn't the proper Babylon's project stream if something doesn't go horribly wrong. Um, but yeah, um, I hopefully we'll get this fixed on the fifth try at the minimum. That's the Babylon way. Uh, where the hell is my zoom? There we go. Launching zoom. Joining with video. Uh, it's still not up. Uh, now, now it's working. Now it's working. Excellent. Ah. What? Okay, it's working again. Uh, what? 2080. What? Okay. I, don't have to look, I have to look at the PDF. There, uh, there is one. Yeah, I think okay, I guys, you, one. you are live again, so behave. Ah. Woo! Behave, kids. You are live at Babylon Podcast. Yeah. Oh, um, right. Now we are assumably working. Uh, guys, say something. Test. Hey. Namaste. I was I was going to find the lyrics to Right Set Fred, but I think it's too late for that. <laughs> Let me just turn that camera around so you'll get a much worse picture of me. Yes. That yeah. work. Ooh, and we can see the battle station in the background. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah. Uh -huh. It looks cool. I actually have three screens now. Uh -huh. who, who, wants, who wants to see the battle station? Yeah. Oh, tour. Tour time. Tour time. Uh, my room is a mess, so I'm not going to show you anything more than the battle station. <laughs> 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 what little you can see from the mirror, you can see, but uh, anything else, I'm just going to show show you the battle station oh, what, the, what do you mean you've got a dead body wooster i got you guys on three screens <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> just uh, to make it more confusing and there's my microphone and all the thingies 
Cables galore. Yeah, I have not had the inclination to clean up the cables because I have no idea how to do that. But yeah, I, I may just put a paper over yep. them and pretend they're not them. Cable ties. Are cable you afraid? ties. Yeah, or, but or there's the... like two different adapters there, so ah. No, listen. For reals, the honest thing is the little cable cable straps that are made out of Velcro. Velcro straps. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Velcro straps. I might. Want Those are this. legit because then you don't have to use scissors. You could take them on and off and readjust them as needed. And well, cable ties. If you know, if you're careful, you can undo them and reuse them. Froggy, why do you want to see my mouse pad? That's kind of personal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the most but I think I know why if it's the most bad I'm thinking of it is <laughs> if it is purely therapeutic it is <laughs> <laughs> yep there goes there goes the ratings there goes my uh, there goes my credit too sexy really? for my mouse too sexy for my <laughs> mouse can't think of the louse <laughs> It has indeed seen a lot of use. Uh, those with sharp eyes might have actually noticed that there is a dent on it. <laughs> oh my. Went down a brow size. Well, um, this is actually my wife who given to me by my wife. Ooh. <laughs> so I did not buy this myself. That's my excuse. I got it as a gift. Okay. I, that makes it better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I actually sometimes wonder what was like the, the gift card like note for that. Feel free to fill this up or something like that. Uh, it was along the lines so you can squeeze boobs when I'm not around. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only pass you're getting from me. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Right, okay, so uh, how about we go back, uh, do you want to go back to gaming or do you want to do more Back to it? gaming! <laughs> yeah, back to gaming before Blink comes on and says, come on guys, I'm... <laughs> <sighs> yes, uh... I like what's see. going on with your shirt there, Zimmy. <laughs> I keep, I keep... <laughs> Every once in a while, you'll hit, you'll like, there you go. <laughs> it's camouflage technology, it's not working. Let's see if I could, let's see if I could uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> I, was, I was going, what the fuck you get? All right, okay. <laughs> Zimmy is too, uh, too ashamed to be with us here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, so in our previous episodes, you had a drazi death duel at your hands, yep. and you came out victorious with your spoils of war with you. Malone Which with a new Fraser. bride. And... Your ship headed through the hyperspace corridor towards Batane system. So this uh, this episode will begin in Batane. Yep. You have arrived some time ago, had some time to acclimate. Uh, things have not changed much. Uh, well, the news is that the economy is going down as less and less pirates and raiders and... Oh, I, I, I mean... Uh, uh, intrepid uh, uh, adventure capitalists yeah. have uh, listened in uh, frequencies uh, with the latest changes by the local governance. <clears throat> uh, salvage, op uh, for aggressive salvage operations have decreased in the area. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, this is the one thing I was going to do, yeah, is I'm actually going to start working into what the reefers were actually how they were making money out of this. Yeah, I have. Give me admin. Or, yeah, there's no accounting. Admin is the, yeah. is the whole. Uh, you may use education or you may use intellect. Oof. And if you want to use, use a minion, you can use socialize. 
uh, social studies instead. Yeah, let's just have a quick look at what my stats are. I think it'll probably be me relying on a minion and hope the minion's loyal to me. Oh, yeah. Well, it, do it does appear my preparations have uh, uh, lapsed horribly on one, one thing. I don't have my dice. Oh, dear. Don't, don't worry, you don't have to roll. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, I can just decide. <laughs> That's better for you, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'm just gonna do a social roll mm. on this. Okay, fair enough. That's good. Uh, turn on the social. Uh, it's uh, it's admin plus social, not just ah right. I don't. Uh, well, I don't have admin. Yeah, yeah, then that's a minus three. three on that, so it's a seven. A seven, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as far as your bookkeeping shows, this station is doing a net loss at the moment. Uh, well, uh, according to the minions, that uh, they say that yeah, it's always been a net loss to the Riva household, and they've just been holding on to it because. Uh, prestige. If if you lose a station, that uh, that's a that's a loss in face. Yeah. Quite uh, quite quite promptly. So they they've been bleeding money over this station, and they were just glad to get rid of it and pawn it off to somebody else with an imperial decree. That way they didn't lose any face, yes. and they got to improve their status. Yeah. Uh, financial status. It it was yeah. less of a loss of a face, but. Still. Uh -huh. uh, yes. So basically, this place is a money pit. Pretty much. Uh, yes. Also, while you're doing this investigation, you do receive a message from Homeworld. It is that you are supposed to supply a warship within the next month. Yeah. But what, what ships do I have available to supply? Uh, you have two patrol corvettes mm -hmm. on the station, mm -hmm. and Yagranda. That's that's the entirety of the things you have at your disposal. There's ample amount of independent independent scavenging ships around, but aside from that, the mm. station is pretty dead in the water. Uh, you do have the. Oh, no, no, you don't. Never mind. No, you, that, that, that thing blew up. Yeah. Sadly. The, the, the actual... Do they actually specify the requirements? Would I get away with a send a patrol carfet? Well, technically, yeah, but as they don't have an independent jump drive, that probably wouldn't qualify as a warship. Yeah, um, well... You could get away with it, but it will be a stain on your honor. Yeah. And sending something that is so reliant, and if something happens, it won't be able to escape and get back to you, and you'll lose that one forever. Uh -huh. But it's still a 50 million credit craft on its own. Uh -huh. Was it 50? Uh, it's probably 50 million credit craft. Yes. Uh, how about. How about we, uh, we sell one of the, like, the new little ships, uh, Shadow of Night or something like that? <laughs> that's, that's barely worth, like, five million. <laughs> I yeah. mean, uh, it's got an Embarra technology on it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why we're getting five million. Good luck. <laughs> you can certainly try. Yeah. <laughs> you can certainly try. Yeah. Um, it's a question of what can I do to get my hands on the warship? Well... Technically, you could ask around. Mm -hmm. You, there might be some clues. Is that what? Just like, just like you all say, you could this, all... Is, hmm? this is actually a border world. There's a, so, with my knowledge of what is meant to be, you know, the proper garrison. We didn't theory by be under garrisoned. 
Only education for that. If you have military tactics, you may use that. Yeah, shit. Oh, actually, naval tactics in this case. Uh, military tactics would be the ground guys, and this is this would be the naval guys. I've got tactics, naval. Yep. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, but this is a time of war, and Betain is not considered uh, considered to be a front line. So they may squish on it, but before the war, it would have been the horribly, horribly under garrison. No, I'm just. <clears throat> no, it's just because I'm just thinking if there was, say, just a, a sneak, okay, it's the Mimbari, so no one's expecting an attack from the Mimbari. But... And if it's going to be coming, there's no other Sindar can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's just a question of, mm. but it's just still feeling like I'm just going. Mm. All I, all I was told was to supply the warship. I don't have to supply the crew. What what's the actual wording? Mm. That's something you can use advocate for. Ah, to have advocate. Intellect, intellect advocate. I don't have advocate, so I'll just be. You intellect. can also use these two suckers. Yeah. 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 These two suckers. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. Who has advocate? Yeah. Who does have advocate? Nevin has advocate. <laughs> Thank you. Can you do a roll for me, please? <laughs> Pretty please. What am What am I looking for? <laughs> so you're, you're reading a contract. His yeah. request and yeah. orders. It's, it's <sighs> yeah. It's it's a, it's an order in Centauri. You run it through the translation software, and you can do a do an advocate hole with advocate of one. So if you have more than one advocate, you have to give yourself a penalty. Anything over there. Uh, I have a skill of two. So you give it yourself a minus one on the total. They're using, they're using, is this using intellect? Yes, intellect. Six. Six. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, as far as you are. He gives me. He gives me. <laughs> yep, I do give you. <laughs> Because it's in Centauri, and you are not proficient in Centauri, are you? Uh, uh, not on this character, you're not! <laughs> <laughs> I do have a language skill. I just... At zero, don't you? <laughs> I gave yes. you a bonus for you having, uh, you having translation software at your disposal at your hand up, so... Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so... Uh, so, as you read it, it seems like if you just provide a ship that doesn't move, that's not gonna fly. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna just start looking into... They're just saying a warship. I'm gonna actually see if there's been any... And I've got, to... I've got a month to do this. Yep. Yes, you do. So I'm wondering if they're saying, if it, like, any... See if there's any old mothball fleets or or any ships that were, you know, potentially left for scrap. In this system? You're in this system or nearby that I'm... You do remember that the nearby systems are house reaper. I don't care. <laughs> right, so you're gonna put yourself into looking through those, uh, those records, so... Yeah. That's going to take you 1d6 days to go through okay. properly. Uh, okay. If you want to do it faster, you can give yourself a minus two penalty, and the skill for that would be. Uh, what's the skill list again? Probably admin. Uh, admin again? Yeah, I think admin is the suitable skill for that. I've 
really is not going to be my strong suit this. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yes, I can use Wesley's cheat because nobody's using that one. <laughs> uh, 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 investigation would be more popular as your investigation. Ah, means. I do have investigate myself. Oh. Um, yes, and on the intellectual there. Yeah, that would be uh, on that, but let's uh, let's hold on that roll for now and yep. run me 1d6 on how long it takes, unless you want to do it faster. No, I'll, do it. I'll take the 1d6. You can, you can also take 10d6 hours, which is... Uh, five days. Mi minus two. Ah, oh, five days. So you, you bury yourself into doing this full time for yep. the next five days. Yep. Meanwhile, uh, let's go down to the business with the other guys. Malone, what are you? What what are Malone's plans? Uh, Malone right now has got not. Malone's got not much to do except for uh, recover, training, tend to uh, little things around the ship, maybe chat back and forth with Nevin. Sita's wife. My ex-wife's around. Well, you know what? I'll probably send uh, some... I mean, your drowsy wife. I think your drowsy wife is what he's talking about. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know what? There, there's, actually, there's actually a lot of things that I need to take care of over over uh, emails and long-range communications. Mm -hmm. uh, sending emails back and forth with, with Billy... Uh, talk to Karen, you know, sending emails back and forth with Karen, let her know that everything's back fine. Um, uh, chatting back and forth with a doctor that we sent to go fix with Dujar. Um, sending messages, still trying to send messages back and forth uh, to notify family of, 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 of doctor. And we're, I'm just doing catch up work, stuff but, that I didn't get to do. Oh, notify Derek's family? Yeah. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> well, but he had his, well, I, I don't no. know. I haven't decided about the girlfriend or anything like that either. Uh, the girlfriend? Ex oh, you mean the, the Centauri chick who hates yeah. him? Oh, yeah. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you go send an uh, email to Reefer's wife that, hey, this no. guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> his parents are dead so you know you have Weren't, no uh, didn't, you have, didn't he have a girlfriend in uh, in earth no he had one <laughs> Centauri girlfriend all right, the rest all right, were just so people okay. he was doing things with <laughs> anyways uh, I'm still like I'm just trying to do my research and just sending back and forth emails and on occasion checking in with Nevin the new guy seeing him well, how is he uh, seeing how you're doing with the uh so now you're doing with all the uh, uh, medical supplies and seeing if there's anything there we could get you that you need. No, Nevin is feels like everything's fine. Yeah. Nevin does cook every single day. Some random minbari dish he cooks. Because wow. I have stored and I will use it. <laughs> so <I> cook. <laughs> and you also have an infinite supply of minbari vegetables. Yes, I do, and I bought some Minbari meat products. Yeah, to cook also before uh, you you on. have the biospheres on your shit uh, on your shuttle, and those are enough to supply you with all the Minbari vegetables you need. Plus, I think two extra, or three extra. Yeah, so, so I go there and get some vegetables. I get some of the meat out of the freezer that I bought before we left Babylon Five. Would somebody like cut. some fresh flan? <laughs> so there's a lot of let's see. Let's look at random Minbari foods. A lot of, a lot of Ralan. Ralan. Uh, some Ulaba. Ulaba. There's, there's, there's things. Yeah, just no any of those. Any of those really high in protein and salt? Sure. One is like lamb and one is, is fish. So <laughs> Fish-like. So, yeah. So I cook. And... Uh, I would probably be doing some, uh, you know, what is it? Self sparring by myself when nobody's around. F funnily, episode 18 of the season two also features the first instance of Minbari cuisine. 
Yep. <laughs> First time this has been bar cuisine. This is true. This is true. So I cook it, and yes. Is it I good? It looks like weird noodles, right? And noodles yeah. and tofu. Yeah. Yeah, some's calling it self spar Is that what they call it these days? What? self spar <laughs> Well, so yeah, Malone is doing some email work. That's well, that's going to take him uh, one day five days, one day six days as well. Mm-hmm. As, oh, as I'm is, assuming you want me to roll. Yeah, at least one one day six. Yeah, that's yeah. Full, full full six days of correspondence <laughs> back and forth. As there is delay times, uh, well. Probably I was a lot. I spent a lot of time in jail. I mean, I got a backlog of shit. To <laughs> <laughs> what the? When were you in jail? When you were gone. Were you oh gone? yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah, the most of it is just waiting for replies from various people to get through things. Uh, actually, are you contacting the uh, the girlfriend or not? Uh, no, no, Reba's <laughs> wife, no. I was messing around about that. Absolutely not. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Yes, I am disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, hey, Celeste. I don't, what's, I mean, uh, I don't think I know what Derek would have wanted me to do about that. Derek's <laughs> dead, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, bitch, you're... Your ex toy boy is dead. Stop! Stop trying to kill us now, please. You know there might be a reward for killing him. <laughs> <laughs> In theory, she has to pay that to the Narn. How much? <laughs> it's not public, at least to your knowledge. But you could investigate into it. No. <laughs> then just might be a reward for your crew. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not too good at this whole communication stuff. This whole long-distance email things. I can never get these computers to work. Yeah. I need... Um, who was it? Miana to help me out. Miana's good with computers, right? Fixing them, yes. <laughs> Never all right, so every time skills. I click here, I get like all these windows keep popping open. Are you looking at porn? What's what's going on? Here? <laughs> well, I mean, I can't get rid of them. They just keep popping up. I don't know where they come from. Trust me, I don't need any more pills. <laughs> any more? <laughs> As he says that the the cupboard just spells out blue all round pills uh, what is a penis in larger <laughs> no no that's, 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 that's what I'm trying to not go there no they keep popping up I don't know where they come from why do they keep trying to sell me these things I don't even know what that's for I don't one even thing, know how to use that uh, one thing that I would say about Derek is he would have left the will, knowing his current mindset. Ooh. And he would have left, he would just have left everything to Malone. Oh boy. Yeah, you might actually find that going through your correspondence. There's like, uh, I, I would think it's uh, one of those things that he puts, uh, he puts an email that has a timer on it, like a mo- month or two. And if he doesn't stop it, it will go through them alone. Well, literally, I mean, what's probably happening is I'm going through, like, all his old belongings and all the old accounts and trying to, like, who the fuck do I contact now that he's dead? Well, we're not going to contact her or him. (laughs) What? What's this file labeled? You know, I'll probably find it at that point. Yeah. Yeah, uh, That is uh, Derek's will. Holy shit. There's Derek's will. I leave all my earthly possessions to one dumbass called Malone. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Which he probably wouldn't want anything that I have, but it's there. Oh, are you kidding me? I, love, I have tons of stuff for sentimental value. That's also a portion of the, the stethoscope. <laughs> yep. 
here, here is that, oh, that magic wand thing that he would always point to my head and be like, okay, everything's fine. Uh, I have no idea how to use this. Yep, you do have ship shares. I forget how many. Hold on. One. Oh, shit. Uh, one ship share. Uh, looking at my inventory for Derek. 38,700 credits. Um... His cloth armor, because that was still been his fucking room. <laughs> well, it was. Yeah. One computer, the 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 the, the, the lower range computer, because he had a, he had a. Yeah, the higher range computer. The... That 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 blue. Um. The supercomputer. Yep. And a scientific toolkit. <laughs> that probably was not there. He wasn't doing examinations on that level. So. Yeah. So, uh, and all his weapons, which you already have weapons, so it's like, no, actually, all those were, all those were stolen and, uh, yeah, we had to get all this shit. So, never mind. Yep. So, yes. However, didn't you, no, I think we returned the sniper rifle, didn't we? So, you get one, uh, four, like, computer level four, slash four, whatever, which, uh, that's probably the one that's giving me all the pop-up ads for dick oh, pills. The crypto is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you inserted one wrong password, and Derek's backup programs just yeah. went, went haywire with it. Yeah. <laughs> but infected computer. <laughs> but the biggest things is, is the 38,000 credits and the, the one ship share. Those are the biggest things. Yep. Could be yeah, a video huge. Usage. Because they're going to spend a lot of money. He just kind of hoarded it. Hoarded a lot. So, I, so are we saying that Derek was actually more of a prankster hacker instead of a um, malevolent hacker? You know, he just wants to piss people off? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Derek Death was a complicated people. guy. <laughs> Death changes people. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does indeed. Many are saints, they're not saints before they died. That's true. A lot of them were farmers. <laughs> yeah. Well, Diff definitely changed some. He became charred, didn't he? Uh, well, anyways. Uh, uh. So, so I'm cooking and punching. Cooking and punching. Cooking and punching. For so after long five day. days, mm -hmm. let me have a roll. That will be investigate with yep. uh, intellect. Oh, wait, you can use social because you are actually asking around. Oh, okay. So I can... Uh, skills, so investigate, social, bang, bang, 13. Oh. Okay! <clears throat> <laughs> So yeah, um, there's a few options you actually discover. Mm. One, uh, the jacaranda fits the criteria uh, of a warship to a mm. T. It has a crew, it has mm. a jump drive, it has armor, and it has weapons. Mm. It actually has a warship level armor. Just not the hit points of a warship, just, just armor of a warship. You did deck it out to be heavily, heavily armored. For its size. Um, second is that there is actually a pirate crew operating a a cruiser sized ship in, in in the system or the nearby region that you that you hear rumors on. They might be viable or they might well, well uh, let's say one land on less uh, land is less conversation. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, uh, he's collecting his acting up, so I will let up. Hello, welcome back. Sorry, I don't know. Mojo just cut out yeah. there. So, okay. You. Uh, I'll start again. So, yeah. So, Chikaranda is an option. Definitely. Yep. Uh, second is a pirate crew is operating in a nearby region. Mm -hmm. You may be able to buy them off, or you might, might be able to uh, blackmail them or whatever. There's options there. And uh, third, yeah, you do find a mothballed warship uh, that you could equip, but getting to it is going to cost you 
20 million dollars uh, 20 million credits just to get it up started is it because it's basically dead cold <laughs> yeah it's it's dead cold it's mothballed and there's no crew uh -huh. so your uh conservative estimates are 20 million credits to get it running uh, including hiring crew and so forth. Just so out of curiosity, maybe for later plans, you know this mothballed cruiser? Mm -hmm. Is it in the system or is it somewhere else? Uh, it's not in your system, it's in one of the one of the refile systems nearby. Let me just check which one was it. Uh, where's, where's my map? Give me my... Oh, wrong window. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Ah, there we go. And it's in... Uh, it's in Bentart system. Uh, can you bring us all into the map so I can have a quick look? Yeah, sure. There's your map, and... I'm not showing it to the players because I'm in Mimi. Mainly because I have not uh, oh, yeah. made the window for showing things. I should do yeah. that. I'm being lazy. Yeah. Okay, no, that's fine. Well, this so, sounds good. So it's a bit of a hike because it's me having to. If I'm going for the warship, it's not me just getting out of bent. It's me then having to get through beta. Oh, but if I can get up and running, it should still have a jump drive. So I don't have to go through beta too. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can actually just pass the system, so it's booyah. You don't need to go into the system, but you have the best pilot. Or you can risk going straight from Bender to Batane and using a direct navigation tool. Mm. Mm. It's just a. It's just all the kind of risks you have to play. Mm. I think that one I'm probably I'm gonna table for later. Uh -huh. You don't want to go uh, attack a pirate ship and take it over and put it towards a war effort. I'm wanting to actually look a bit more into the pirates, actually. Mm. Yeah, uh, you gather that it's a, it's a ship, uh, it's a local ship uh, that is masquerading as a salvage ship, and its modus operandi is. Hey, you wanna you wanna do mining in this area? Oh well, um, either we do salvage on your ship, or you pay us a portion of your income. So, are they by any chance at the station at this moment? No, uh, they don't bring the big ship at the station. Mm. Uh, mainly because it's too well armed to pass for a salvage ship at close by. Ah, so they. So is there any, so do like they bring any shuttles or does any members of the crew of the pirates come to the station? Yes, on occasion. Are any on the station right now? Uh, how many do D6? As far as you know, no. No. And if they do come, they don't usually announce themselves. You just hear yeah. about rumors that they do use this station for rest and relaxation. But it might be that they are moving on uh, since the population is dwindling in this area. And the entertainment is dwindling in this area. Oh, because of those. Yeah. Half because the your problem. wife doesn't like strippers, that's why. <laughs> It was the brothels that she was more complaining about. Well, she's uh, trying to get rid of the strippers now. This <laughs> used to be a place to get uh, get rid of uh, stolen loot and getting getting some uh, quality entertainment without too many questions. And now there's just quality entertainment, but too many questions attached. <laughs> uh, you're saying something, but I can't hear it. How we just send your wife back to where she was at? <laughs> but Nevin will never tell you that because you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
just thinking what can we do to when we're saying sh ship do we have any records of what this thing's capabilities are uh, very scarce, but you do have recollection. Uh, you do have information that it does have enough firepower to take down, uh, to take down your patrol corvettes, and that's why the previous administration has decided to just leave it be, <laughs> uh, instead of uh, attacking it head on. Because obviously all the protection money they take is away from the station income and people don't like that, but they also don't like that their ships get blown up. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm gonna call Malone to get his view on this. Yeah, what you need? Mm. I've got a few potential options. Uh, I've been receiving instructions that I need to provide a warship to add to the war effort. I've got a few options here. One is we just take the jacaranda and do it. There is a mothballed cruiser in Rifa territory that we could try and get or we can get rid of some pirates in our area and send that ship to the war effort yeah, question if we go after the pirates though uh, won't we have to destroy their ship not necessarily it's a question of if we could either co-opt them and persuade them to actually go off to the war. <sighs> and you're asking my advice, which one of these two, to, which one of these three options? Well, I don't like going, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not feeling that good about sending the Jack Randa to go hmm. beat up a bunch of uh, nards, you know? I'm kind of anti that. I don't mind uh, supplying a couple other ships. And yeah, Rifa's been a pain in our ass, and we'd have to end up going to his territory to steal something from him. And that'd be kind of badass that we've kind of seemed embarrassing about that. Yeah, but it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Yeah. And pirates are a problem, and. Honestly, you know me. If you ask me, if, hey, if you want to fight something, well, I'm going to tell you, fuck yeah. Let's kick some fucking pirate's ass. Well, well there it is. We start just out of character here. Mm -hmm. And, like, capabilities of, like, the, the patrol corvettes and, say, the Jacaranda, I know we mentioned that pirate ship could blow a patrol corvette out of the water. Mm -hmm. If the jacaranda, I'm guessing the, the patrol corvettes would potentially blow us out of the, the jacaranda out of the water, or would it be more like an even match? Well, uh, probably mm, ship tactics. The naval tactics. I've got naval tactics. So. And that this goes with education. Okay. Uh, nine. Well, uh, Jacaranda is heavily armoured for its size, and the battle corvettes are, are about the same size. Your firepower is less than theirs, but your armour is heavier, so it would be... Uh, if both of, uh, if one of them attacked you, it would be an even fight, but with dual time, you probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't stand a chance unless you got extremely lucky. You can't quite... Um, you can you're not quite sure what difference the Minbari technology would make on it. Probably would give you an edge. 
Mm-hmm. Would this be a two against one situation? I'm not a. I'm not understanding. No, it's just because I'm wanting to get an idea of if we were to go after them in the Jacaranda, would we be in a similar sort of situation? Or if we were to go after them mm-hmm. and try and chase the ship, are we then having to bring the other patrol corvettes, or are we having to do a situation where instead of us, you know, doing a space battle, are we maybe having to do a situation where we get them to board us? <laughs> Mm, I got you. I guess. The one idea that came in my head was I was thinking of if they had people on the actual station, we could stop them, take the skiff or the ship they were using, and board the actual pirate cruiser. Well, you know what? Uh, Speaking of... uh... Mimbari weaponry and scanners. We could always ask Nevin what he thinks of uh, our chances. Maybe see if he could even... I haven't seen what he knows or what his capabilities are. What do you think? Call him up over here. I'm a doctor. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) Hey, Nevin, uh, this is Malone. Landis and I are uh, discussing a couple of matters here at the bridge. Would you mind joining us up? We could use your input. On my way. And a few moments later, Nevin arrives. Nevin, hey, welcome back. Uh, let me fill you in real quick. We've been. Uh, the gist of it is we've been tasked to uh, recover a uh, warship, and we got two choices. We could either go somewhere really far and very expensive to pick up a dustball warship and try to crew it up or blah, 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 blah. Or we could try to solve a problem and see there's a bunch of pirates around this area. And we're thinking about shooting them out of the sky just enough to disable them and taking over their ship. Um, but, you know, our weaponry, it's, uh, we have some nice Minbari turrets and some, uh, tracking software. Last time, you know, uh, we weren't very useful with it. We don't have turrets. As you, the, as you, the have, you have Earth Alliance grade weaponry, but you have Minbari targeting software. Uh-huh. That's what it is, targeting software. So, uh, last time we used these up, I mean, it was all right. And uh, what do you think uh, of the interface that we got going on here? Is there any way we can make it better? What do you think our chances are against going up against uh, Landis? Why don't you show them what our opposition would be, these space pirates? Just pull up what I've been able to obtain and said. Um, <laughs> Very little actual data and more rumors and speculation. Uh, and I just say, based on what I've heard, I have reason to suspect potentially maybe some of these models mm-hmm. of ships. And I put up like the most likely candidates. Oh. It's likely the lesser ver- lesser version of the war class. Uh, I forget what the name was, but yeah, I'd say you see a light cruiser version of the watcher. Mm. Right, I'm just trying to pull up the. Wow, well, no. no. I understand not wanting to send the ship on its. This ship we're on because. I'm assuming the very species friendly atmosphere of this ship <sighs> may not be the best, but pirates, uh we would we could probably disable one ship, but 
generally speaking, pirates. Well, I know if pirate ships like hung out by themselves or do they like do things in packs? Uh, as far as your rumors show, this is a lonely ship. Uh, it has a couple of fighter, fighters on its own, but other than that, it's uh, it's single singular ship. Yeah, so singular ship. If we are smart about how we approach it, it's quite possible. But there's always an inherent risk on anything we do. What uh, I suppose uh, we could always go back, go to that mothball one. Uh, well, there you go, well, Landis. Well, we, we, looking at what you've shown me, we neither have the time nor the financial capital in order to complete that. In a, complete that when it's needed. Where would? Hmm. That's money and resources. Yeah, we got to find the ship, get the ship, put a crew on the ship, pay to get it fixed, all in 25 days, because it took you five days to do this. <laughs> uh-huh. So it might be actually simpler for us to somehow neutralize the pirates. Yeah. Or die trying, and, you know, it, it, solves the, it will solve the problem either way. <laughs> Solves both problems. <laughs> Just as if we make it obvious, a ship of that size will just jump out the system. I mean, this ship does not look like a standard Centauri ship, so if they are pirates, inclination because of the fact that this other than it, I mean it does look it's, it is armored but this thing does look like just like a fucking like like luxury yacht still right <laughs> yep it yeah. has the appearance of a luxury yacht yeah so Wes- this, Wesley had it painted yeah so this would look like something that would make sense to try to capture or to do something in order to liquidate assets for a pirate. So we could use us as bait. And then probably we'd want to minimize damage so if they're boarding us, where and, and, and out of character, mm. I just would like to remind you, we have horrible, horrible luck when it comes to rolling for damage to keep something from not being bad. <laughs> so also keep that in mind. Luck yeah, may not ship be Ship battles are ship battles are fucked. We're like, oh, we don't want to blow up the ship. You know, it, it's blown up <laughs> because we destroyed this part of the ship. Can, can I point out our first ship battle went fine? You are correct. It mm-hmm. did go it, that one did go well. Oh, the well, here's here's what here's where the real thing is. Yeah, and it's a it's a meta question for Zimmy. Zimmy, do you want to roll for turrets? <laughs> that's literally. I mean, that's it. I mean, I'll roll. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, do you want to roll? Is that something you're excited? I'm like, yeah, let's fucking roll some turret damage and fuck him up. No. That's all I'm asking. No. On a meta level, merit. On a meta level, no. Because, you know, we need this ship. <laughs> there we go. So. But the best option would be to try to apprehend this pirate ship. Mm. It would sink. Or we take the ship we're currently on to the front. That would actually be the easiest of the... Of the <laughs> and the argument solutions. would be, is in theory, to flee command would give us our pro- more appropriate orders probably be used as scouts instead mm. it's a question if we're doing if we're sending the jacaranda I 
how are you guys going to be feeling fighting the war? I told you, me, I'm, I'm not too keen on kicking some Narn's ass. Yeah. But at the <sighs> same time, the Narns were working on biological weapons. Yeah, but at the same time, the Narns just want to be left in fucking peace. And here comes Ma Malari stirring up a bunch of shit starting... Anyways, you've heard all my thoughts on it. While I believe that there are greater things out there to worry about other than this war that your people and the Narns are currently... Uh, part of my current journey of life is to follow you all so that's well, what Captain. I'll do there's always the option of appealing to the tribunal that you do not have the funds to raise a warship uh, not tribunal this in term or you could ask for financial aid from the emperor. The dead emperor? No, no, no. There is a new emperor. Oh, okay. The emperor yeah. is dead. Long live the emperor. Precisely. Yep. Katasha. Yeah. Um, I would say, I mean, worst case scenario. I mean, we could appeal it. Worst case scenario was going to we'll say, no, get your ass on the <laughs> on the front. I mean, because <clears throat> we, we don't have any money to raise a ship. I mean, how high would that advocate role be? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd probably have to land, make arrangements, do all the jazz. I mean, not, that's not possible. I, On I, the think note. I, I think I would have to mortgage the system 20 times over. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna try and fix this camera. Well, since everybody is fixing fixing things, uh, let's say we'll be back in ten minutes, and yeah. you can listen to our lovely intermission music in the meanwhile. Yeah. All right, yeah. yeah.
Hello, that uh, that play took longer than expected. Uh, John had some issues with uh, with camera settings and was like out of commission for a while. And because we liked John, we didn't want to leave him hanging. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, uh, right. Have you made up your mind which who do you want to uh, impart upon? I think. Yeah, let's go pirate hunting. We're going pirate hunting. <laughs> and this is where the jacaranda blows up. Yeah. I mean, I mean, every, I mean, Woosler does deserve a TPK. You know, I mean, he's, he's been, he's been very nice to us for quite some time. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, no, nothing but good times here, folks. No, nothing depressing. No yeah. heart wrenching. <laughs> <laughs> Stories, <laughs> storylines, not whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, how has the stream quality been for you guys? You, uh, the picture has it been laggy? Uh, has it uh, done any wiggly, waggly, waggly? Uh, is the sound quality okay? And I uh, do I look as fabulous as I always do? Please answer in comments and receive a prize of me liking you. And also, uh, do you prefer it uh, like this? No. Or like this? No. No, okay. Also, purple, green, purple, green. Let's see. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember what I was playing with last time. Hang yeah. on. So, so, it appears that me actually contacting my, uh, my supplier that, hey, Please get me a better internet. Oh, whoa, hello, that lady. What you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, let me put on my uh, shades. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, we don't have the Tilt my hair, my lady. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I can dig it. <laughs> I need to get myself a green screen. God dang it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> right. Uh, See, this if if they had a Babylon Five style, you know, like the the thing for, like the Centauri. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Then we I would need wish. to definitely get get John a green screen and have him okay. be London school horse all the time and. And 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 the press box. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, well, I do believe we should invade uh, the Switzerland. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, mm, 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 you wanted to go fight pirates, was it? Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, in that case, you how do you want to prepare in any way anyhow any soul do you want to bring in a couple more guards on the ships or ship yeah or... i i i'm bring i'm discreetly will be bringing as many guards slash marines that i can lay my hands on yeah okay uh um, hey, you know what let's uh think of one thing here we still have the vanur with us do we want to leave him dockside or do you want to stick around with us I think of this a question about what him and Fraser wants. Yeah. Can he can he even fight? Well, he is um, a dog. Eh? I mean, I know it's like one of those like they all can fight, but can he fight? Like, is he comp is he a competent? fighter? Yeah, is he competent? <laughs> well, nobody else I'll ask. I'll just walk up and punch him in the face. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a and that would be a direct way of asking. I uh, yeah. I would probably ask if he's confident in fighting. Not to mention we have to find a place to actually house all these guards that you may you may want to bring. Yeah, yeah, the cargo bay. Uh your cargo zero G bay. Cargo zero bay? G? The zero G cargo bay? Okay. <laughs> well pick up my boots. <laughs> and the cargo bay is not that very um comfortable for several days. It, it takes a long time inside system to travel, especially since Jacaranda is like a slug when it comes to yeah. go, go, going in supplies. 
Well, let's think. Um, we can get the. Should really look at investing in a, a, a better ship. I mean, <laughs> probably really should look at it, think about it. Getting a warship, yeah, for a one thousand eight hundred crew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> say that drastic, but okay. You want to try to get that mouth moth, mothball then? <laughs> well, technically, Warcher uh, class only requires 120 crew. Mm. So it's a bit smaller, smaller on the I mean, side, but it's it's like 1.5 billion credits. Yeah. yeah. I, I might be able just to mortgage the system for that much. I mean, everything in the system. I might have to mortgage the star to go with it. And your title. Yeah. But you could, potentially. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, CSA, what? Bloody shipbuilders. <laughs> uh, yeah, Froggy's asking where. where... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Vanur sleeps. Uh, I mean, I'm, ass I'm assuming <laughs> him and Fraser have made accommodations. I, I mean, they're. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how. The... It's called a bunk bed. Uh, it's a concept that has been invented somewhere <laughs> along the lines of Roman times. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I've, I've literally just. Bunk bed, you know, the entire <clears throat> court, central quarter of the drum. Bunk beds. I bunk gave Frazier the talk of the birds and the bees. It's all good. I don't think it works for the drowsy that way. I, she didn't seem that confused. I had to explain a couple of things. Mm. Although she keeps asking about, you know, <laughs> what flowers are. <laughs> I understand this is a metaphor, but what are flowers? <laughs> <laughs> and why does Cortas keep talking about storks all the time? When I when he's storks. when I ask him about the subject. <laughs> and I mean, not to mention we would have to take out the Mimbari targeting software off the ship before we even tried to do just sell it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's true. It might have been my ingenious plot to get you attack, uh, attached to the vessel. Oh, oh. yeah. The vessel that you're like, <laughs> zero G, zero G. You have no room for people. Yeah, <laughs> you, you have the rotunda. Uh, you, can, you can house, but uh, essentially it will uh, take your uh, life support capabilities. Uh, to max. To, no, to beyond max, you're gonna have to run them beyond normal capacity. What's uh, your plan with the? We don't, we don't need any guards. The, 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 uh, the just saying, you can, but uh, every uh, every day you will have to check out uh, your life support systems, whether or not they are an operational, and it will increase the maintenance cost for that duration. It's all right. Lana can Lana can handle it all. We don't need we don't need any guards. <laughs> <laughs> we just put one on against the entire pirate crew. Yep. Is that... He's got it. <laughs> Him and Malone. Malone is like a tank. <laughs> no issues. So it's just me and Nevin with pom poms just going, Malone, Malone, you're our guys. You... No one can do it. No one can. Malone, Malone, Malone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, still waiting for, I'm still waiting to go one on one against Lena on one of these days. Yeah, we know who's going to win. I don't know. He might no be. one's going to win. That's who. Yeah, we're. Apparently because he has, he has a hand to hand of like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He, he's so, totally not a GM NPC now. Mm, yeah. So, pirates. I don't think I. If you want to take guards, I would say probably two. Two. Yeah. Max. So is the plan they're going to try to board us and we're going to capture them when they try to board us or are we going to try to board them or try to take out their ship? Do you want to take a patrol escort corvette or two? 
I felt I thought like the plan was like to. Look I at like it. that there's plan. All, there's only two in the system that he has. They can destroy yeah. it. He has nothing. <laughs> but if he's gonna die, he also has nothing. I'm, I mean, <laughs> but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Um, so. Yeah. Just gambler on everything. Yeah. I mean, I thought that you know we're going on our own just to look like, hey, this is, this looks like too good to pass up. You know what I mean? Yeah, we could have the the two for Joker fits. Yeah, I mean they're going to from. Yeah, and they're going to have to you know connect to us and attempt to board us to do anything, and that's when we kill them. I think this is what we're going to do. Is we we'll have the Joker fits fall as discreetly as they can in like Babylon 5 equivalent of a stealth run. Okay. So you want them to be hiding somewhere nearby while you are trying to attract the attention yeah. of the ship and if things go sour the battleship should engage and hopefully save you before you are blown out of the sky. Mm -hmm. And yes. that's why you're the captain, because you come up with these kick-ass plans. Yeah. I'm hoping that, like, <sighs> if we're quite close, we can still aim at them, but they might not be in a place where they can aim at us, and they go, yeah, we've got our guns targeted at your never regions. Do you want us to fire? Surrender now, you know? So the question is, if their ship is better than the ship we're on, do we, like, take their ship and say, here, Centauri, <laughs> or do we just stick with our ship? Well, the problem is the targeting software, the Membari upgrades. I'm pretty sure we can figure out a way to take it, take it yeah. out. You could just weld the two ships together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a MacGyver thinking right there. Yeah. So. Just like, you know. A little bit of duct tape. It's just like that pineapple pen dude. Pine pineapple pen dude. Just... <laughs> <laughs> then you have this rotating after section on the ship, like... <laughs> uh, welcome to our luxury suite area, where we house yeah. our guests on the ship. It has half the armor of the rest of the ship, but it is most comfortable in sleeping quarters. And, and, it's just so we can, ha we can have the jacuzzi <laughs> on the warship. <laughs> <laughs> so... All right. It so looks we're like going, we got a plan then. Are we going to have two guards on the ship with us? Yes. Okay, so two guards extra guards is going to put your life support on overdrive, but it's not dangerous. So well, I, I mean, oh yeah, if, yeah, if, we if, did. Uh, you can technically like bunk bed all of your rooms without a, a additional issues. So you have shish like, kebab. I blame him. <laughs> yeah, you have. Is like, he still chewing on that narn? That dead narn? No, this, this Do you stuff. want to know? <laughs> <laughs> you do, you just go in the room and you just see like him just slowly just picking that eyeball yeah. or something. You, you just uh, see him like, like ah! no, no, no. The, 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 there's a bone that he does like, <laughs> <laughs> and he just maintains eye contact the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He just offers you a piece. <laughs> ah, bye bye, Blinky. Yeah, bye bye. bye Blinky. Okay, so <clears throat> right. Well, as you are doing these planning preparations, there is an incoming message uh, coming from your secretary. Uh, it's uh, like. Well, I'm assuming Jado is doing that secretarial work at the moment, and he's like, Yeah. Uh, boss, this message to you from Duja. Oh. Was it to Malone or uh, I'm assuming he's saying you. boss to me? Yeah. Uh, oh, put it on. I'm sorry, my count. <laughs> yeah, put it on. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, there is Duja there. Um, he's somewhere very uh, dim, dimly lit, and ah, ah, ah my lord, uh, I humbly request that you allow me and uh, uh, the ship access to your spaceport. I would like to join the crew. The ship? 
Uh, which... Yes, I booked transport on a uh, on, on a <coughs> salvage operation, and uh, they were headed this. Uh, they were headed out and uh, offered to give me a ride. So uh, we are outside, and since I am um, a nun, trying to get into Centauri space. I assumed it would be prudent for me to have permission from the local government to enter. Yes, I can... Oh boy. The... I can do it. It's just... Just to make you aware, Dujar, for appearance's sake, on paper you are going to look like appear to outsiders you're a household slave that's the issue mm -hmm. you've treated me right so far if things don't change I won't fight you for my freedom that is um, I'm not going to put you in chains but they will treat me like garbage as they always did Nevin tries to secure this channel that they're talking on <laughs> It's just have to make you aware. Rolls computers. <laughs> I just have to make you aware of that. And you might have to be careful where you go. It's like I can secure quarters for you on the station, but it's like making sure. You... Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, it would be probably wisest that you house me on the Jacaranda. Jacaranda, yes. Um, yes, I am going to be. Taking the jacaranda on a wee bit of pirate hunting. Sounds absolutely sounds like most fun, and that you would need an experienced mechanic on such a voyage. Yes. Yes. Permission to come aboard. Thank you, sir. So. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, here are the details for the ship you need to give access to. Thank you. And when I look at the ship, what? They're not the pirates by any chance. No, by no God. such luck. But it does seem familiar for some reason, the name of the ship. It's called what? Dash. Dash? It tickles your memory bones. You may want, if you, if you don't remember, you can... Is that from use... episode, first episode? No. No, not no. first episode, but it's close. It's been a year. I feel like that's the people that we got more than, well, we tried. Oh, the, is that the... Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, when we went to go pick up Morden uh, on the edge of nowhere. Uh, yeah, those people. <laughs> yep. Those guys. That's the one. <laughs> Hold on. That's my carp ship, aren't they dead? That's a mock yeah. like, what, what do you mean? Dead? Uh, we made a we made a, a an agreement. They we just wanted the body, the guy, yeah, have the, the whatever yeah. was left for salvage. That's. Yeah. I'm sorry, Nevin wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, all of Zim's characters are dead. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. it, it it wasn't even the doctor who was there. It was the previous Zim. It's <laughs> the <laughs> It's two Ooh. generations ago. Oh, you have boy. no memory of it. Oh, boy. So much death. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just start counting our seasons by gym characters instead? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, we're literally going to use you as a cliffhanger every single time. Oh, no. Oh, them. Okay. When does Sorry. Zim die next time? Actually, in that case, if we're doing it that way, we should really be playing Doctor Who RPG. <laughs> we're um, playing the Babylon Doctor <coughs> Who RPG at the moment. <laughs> First, it was Medic uh, Femi Drafts, then it was Doctor Derek, and now, now it is Spiritual Healer. <laughs> Never. Always somebody who could heal. <laughs> yes. No matter what. Um, but I would say, luckily, I'm Nevin, because one of you are, is going to have the fire system. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
at least our hydroponics bay will be free from you know whatever you're doing in there. Yeah, from all the slime and yeah, you still haven't stuff. Uh, retrofitted the, uh, the 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 biospheres to work, so they are actually they're technically empty space. Uh-huh. Technically, except that it smells like rotten corpses in there. Yeah, for some unexplained reason. Uh, yeah, so I think it's maybe time we say goodbye to Shish Kabal. Well, well, we should retro. Uh, you want to retrofit before we go to the pirates or after? Yeah, let's get the ship back up to fully operational. Would my like me taking plants from my my hydroponics bay and like bringing like some seeds over to kind of? Yeah, technically, you can start that. Yeah, uh, the, then you will all have to enjoy the Midbari cuisine. Hey, but that is it's... bad. Yeah, I mean, it t- it tastes pretty similar to linguine. Yeah. It's the There's only- that extra salt on it, it's fine. <laughs> it's the only um, home cooked meal these guys are getting. Oh, God. Because I'm the only person who ever cooks, apparently. It's now. just... <laughs> it's just so bland. You know what? There's, th- there's no sauce. Okay. No. This is what I'll do. I want to go look up some centauri. <laughs> I'm going to look up some centauri dishes. I'm gonna go buy some Centauri food supplies, and I'm gonna make a Centauri meal tonight while they're prepping. Hold me, stewed. Oh, it's intellect as you are improvising with Centauri cuisine. All right, improvise. I said I looked up a recipe. Yeah, 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 but it's still your first time. You're not used to this. Okay, so that's an eight. Okay, it's passable. Yep. So the book says eight to make a, a, I don't know something cooked. Ma- ma- mainly can... because it's a foreign recipe and you are not used to Centauri cooking style. There's a lot equi- of replacement. Your replacement equipment. Ingredients. It's like your first time using a rice cooker. <laughs> so so like how uh, or like like a steam cooker, like first first time using it. It's like um. You put things in here, but there's no, there's more there, but it's not there. The, the, how does it work? <laughs> but yeah, I would, I would take my time just so. The, the yeah, it's the, it's the Minbari way, and you, the, your role re- uh, reflects the fact that you have indeed done it correctly, uh, with with enough time. You didn't take too much of it during the cooking. So that's for Landis, and I guess I'll be looking up. Narn and human <laughs> recipes, so that way you know people are not offended. <laughs> <when Yeah. I cook. laughs> yeah, getting human plants at this time to add in the hydroponics library, uh, hydroponics bay is a bit of a stretch, but that's, maybe that's a lot of long range goals. We'll yep. see if we survive. <laughs> yep. So. Yes, the Darsh boards uh, boards the uh, station while you are preparing Zekaranda to leave. Is anybody going to meet with Mr... Yes! Fucking Dujar! Fuck yeah! Let's meet his ass! Come on! So good to see you back. Uh, How are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'll stay in my room. <laughs> yep. uh, he seems to have a bit of a limp as he walks from the corridor, uh, connecting to the ship. Uh, you got my emails. Fantastic. Oh, you look great, buddy. Oh, look at you. And he has a cane in hand as he walks. Uh, it's been a while, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's uh, I've felt frail ever since the surgery. But at least I am now breathing and living. Thank you for that. Uh, it's... Fantastic. Absolutely great to see you. And you're gonna come back you were you're, you're gonna have your old job back, right? We needed you so badly, friend. Uh. Anyways, come on, let me introduce you to your spats uh to everybody. We got some new peoples, uh new quarters, we're just retrofitting going up on a mission. We could use you here. Let me show <laughs> you around and uh I think I had previously talked to Shish Kebab, who's now going to be working, was your old engine, was the old engineer, uh, he's going to be taking care of the station from now on, so. 
We're going to clean that whole area up. But, uh, oh, uh, this. This is uh, Nevin. Nevin's uh, Membari. Yeah, as you could tell, I mean, look at me talking like a fool. <laughs> That's not enough. Nevin, this is Dujar, uh, our old best this engineer we've ever had. Uh, 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 standard of greeting. Uh, he, he does his best to imitate it with a cane in hand. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, I have not he heard a lot about you. Malone doesn't uh, say much in his emails. Yes. Uh, but it also looks like I'll be your new doctor, so please do not be afraid to come see me if you have any medical issues. As you wish. Uh, there might be several of them in the near future. <laughs> uh, it appears my rec recuperation while rabid has not been complete. We need to get you some of those um, uh, spa uh, that, uh, space wizard guy. Techno mage. He did that something to my brain and it was just fantastic. I'm telling you. He did what now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I thought I'd mentioned that uh, we ran across a techno mage and he filled me some full of uh, nanny bots or something like that. They take care of me really cool. Every time I what, every time I get injured, it just takes me like a couple of days and bam, I'm back to normal. It requires a lot of salt though. The nanny bots really like those salt. So, does that mean anything to me? <laughs> the Mimbari guy. Nanny bots. <laughs> Wait, bots. Nanny bots. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll me roll intellect if you manage to realize anything about... Uh, ma make the connection in the language department. Yes, uh, you managed to uh, somehow manage to uh, convince your brain that Nanny bots is nanobots. That's what he means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And yes, the techno mages are known to have such technology at their disposal. It's uh, beyond most body technology, actually. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Interesting. If only I was a really good doctor who had specialties in that. My <laughs> lord <laughs> uh, just wakes up. He just sees a needle, a needle come towards his eye. <laughs> Derek was never dead to begin with. He just transformed into a hiding doctor. <laughs> Nanny bot, you know. <laughs> they clean up after me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so, um. Centauri Cuisine, old engineer, <laughs> pirates. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, got, it takes this you is, about this a, gonna be a good crew. It takes you about a day to get the ship ready. So at yeah. the si uh, day six, you are ready to head out and try and find your pirate. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to need you to give me some naval tactics to manage out a plan where the ships stay hidden and for me to figure out how far away they are if things go awry. Right, so naval tactics. Ugh. They're two systems away. <laughs> <laughs> The the, the went AWOL Nam told me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, the the results will be seen if combat starts. Yeah.
All right. Penal tactics. Penal tactics. I, uh, tactics. So it turns out Landis Cortis has actually drawn the, the plans for this in crayon <laughs> instead of using the computer program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. It has to be uh, intelligible. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, so that's all the preparation you do. You take two guards on you uh -huh. on the ship. You pick here's, up here's the. Huh? I'm thinking also we may want to. Uh, uh, is there something we could do with the sensors? To uh, uh, sensor approaches from a while back. From a while back, anything we could do to boost our sensors? Yeah, you have min barre sensors. Mm -hmm. You got, you, you got the best sensors in the system, most likely. Yeah. Most, uh, you have better sensors than most Centauri military ships. <laughs> it's, I think what I'll be wanting to do is I intentionally are wanting to be loud and just attract attention there. So like, have like very badly, you know, barely encrypted communication back to the station. There, make it sound like I'm on the pleasure. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, uh, now that we're back in, on the satellite place, I want to restock on uh, weaponry and supplies if we can, too. Uh -huh. Just your basic armors and basic rifles and handguns that are good for space. Maybe about 10k's worth, 5k's worth. Hmm. I have weapons and armor. Yeah. Alright, that's it. That's uh, my resupply stuff. <laughs> Frog's gonna. <laughs> Plans are made uh, made with crayon on a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. So. What? <clears throat> Excuse me, it's the exquisite silk that's being used for it. It's still a crayon. Yeah. On a napkin. Yes. A handkerchief, as you will. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And then course, you just fax when, it. When, when you use, it. yeah, you fax. You fax that. To the other <laughs> this is what we want. Oh my God, we want. Yes, with the nineteen seventies fax machine on the dot fucking matrix. It's a dot matrix. <laughs> You have to, yeah. It comes out like this, and you have to rip out these little. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. So, so the reason why they've not actually started moving is it's actually still printing. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely done the first line of printing. Oh my god! I, I, I've sent it to the wrong machine. I've said that's what I've done. I've accidentally. It's the one that they still use for. God knows whatever reason. Oh, because it's still encrypted, that's why. <laughs> it's because if they're using a system that nobody knows you're still using because it's yeah. so old. It's so old, <laughs> it's classed foolproof, yeah, right? Then, well, so it's like printing out that thing like in the storage closet that everybody forgot about. Like To be honest, Batane has been a frontier system since the times of the great expansion so they are still using the same equipment that they were given back then <laughs> because nobody bothered to upgrade Batain since then <laughs> it's been too far too unimportant <laughs> nobody cares about Batain <laughs> Nobody <That's true>. cares <laughs> the trouble I'm in. Nobody gives a fidget. <clears throat> now, so you head out on your pleasure cruise. Yes. Uh, depl uh, deploy your solar sails and just drift around yeah. having fun according to your podcasts. Yep. So you're Can trying be... to persuade the pirates that you are a sitting duck waiting to be found. Oh, yeah. So Should first of broadcast all... broadcast, like, music? Mm-hmm. First of all, give me a persuasion role to persuade the pirates that you are indeed not too obvious. 
So would it be social? Um, yeah, technically you're a count, and a count taking a pleasure course. That's a given. Eight. So that's the role for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use. Are you using active or passive senses? Because active senses, most most tracking systems will know that you are looking around, but passive senses are far less efficient. Yeah, I think at the moment we'll be using the passive. Hmm? Yeah. Fair enough. So give me a sensor sweep. So I do suppose you will have. Yeah. Fear <laughs> uh, do that. Yeah. And fear is like, ah, can I instead study the star? That would be much more fun. You can study the stars and see if there's any ships blotting them. Uh, fine. Give me a roll for the sensors and add fear's bonus. I believe it was plus two for fear. Does someone want el someone else want to roll? Sure. Go for it to me. Six plus two. Yeah, it's uh was it plus four for the ship? Uh, a plus four for the ship? Oh yeah, because I'm in Bari. Yep. Blah blah blah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so it's two D six plus six. Uh, six. Scanner checks are plus three because of the Minbari sensors uh, and plus two from the from fear. So plus, plus five. five? Yeah. Then we should do okay, even though with a passive. Unless you roll double ones. How I I'm, I'm just refoking your rolling status. <laughs> I mean <laughs> It's fantastic. I just want to throw out when I roll stats, my character has a three in social. So be aware that not a great roller <laughs> as a player. How? That it's not like you're physically rolling where you do a, like do something which. Nope. No fear is like everything looks good. I see nothing. He, he's just actually looking at that wee little is star that... that seems to be twinkling at him. He's muttering like the Centauri version of Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Twinkle, little star, I can study you all the day. <laughs> so. Isn't that, isn't that Mozart? That is Mozart, isn't it? Twinkle Twinkle. The actual music behind it. Beats me. I think you're. Uh, I used to know this. I can't remember. It's, it's either, or it's, it's either Mozart, Beethoven. No, it's Mozart. I think. What happens to us now? <laughs> dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun the hardest dun, part. Dun. Yes. So. It turns out that there is no contact of a ship in the first 1d6 days. D zero. It's my else roll a d6. <laughs> to yeah. see how many, how many days that. Uh, well, we'll have my that's that's how long it takes for for fear to figure out. Oh, I I had star sensor alignments going on. <laughs> What am I, I, I was looking for stars, one D6. not ships. One d six. He rolls five. <laughs> so we wasted ten. It's Eleven, 11 days. days. Okay, so what? We roll in senses. Like... All oh, right. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> So that's five days of going around in the space, and you real uh, fear is like no sign so far. Should we try another we... sweep? <laughs> Are we even in the right spot? So roll again. Yep. Uh, you need to roll the persuade to I uh, get Sorry. persuade and uh, and the 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 uh, the sensor sweep again. 
So that's a nine. I'm rolling very badly today. Oh, I rolled badly last game too. Maybe Traveler is not not my game. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me 1d6. <laughs> we need to switch places. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I just roll these six for days and you guys roll the rolls. I don't... <laughs> All right. Right. Well, I, literally pu- I literally pushed... Uh, just repeat what I did last time. <laughs> And it did, literally did. Clone. <laughs> Clone. That can be right. Let me see what happens again. Okay, all right. It's... <laughs> cool. I'm having trouble holding my <clears throat> expression in check. But yes. Yes. <laughs> So, 16 days after the uh, after receiving the assignment, you find yourselves in contact with a uh, with a large ship in the horizon. Uh, you notice it coming in. Oh, oh fine. I forgot to prepare the blips. Oh well. Let's just go to the right page to do this. Oh. Ping. Uh, Ping. Uh, um, that one. Ah, yes. Ping. Oh, there. Ping, 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 ping. Oh, right. I should probably. Uh. Oh, the, what the? This is where Derek died. Top. Right here. Oh, the... Uh, the... That's All where right. Derek died. Everybody All right, sorry. <laughs> so, I was like, look at that. That's right on top of us. <laughs> That's a non ship. Don't don't worry about the non ship. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, what was your sensor roll again? It was nine, so you notice it at over here. Oh crap! <laughs> so apparently it was hiding between. Uh, it was masquerading as an asteroid, and suddenly an aster- so suddenly it begins activity, and it's in short range. And it says, hello there, in metaphor. And then there is an incoming message. What does the message say? The message opens up into a face of a Centauri with a rather risque fan of her. Ah, well, well, well. Who do we have in here? It appears the local lord has drifted a bit far away from the station. Well, I must ask that his lordship provide us with a hefty amount of travellers' fees, or we are forced to do something about it. You will notice that our weapons are aimed at your general direction and will focus fire at us at earliest convenience. So, I would ask you to hand over, let's say, Five million ducats. Five million <clears throat> ducats. <clears throat> Alright, Captain. Here's our chance. Uh, we got him on the hook. How are you going to play this? It's a bit unusual a ship like yours. Flying away out here must be a bit expensive running. Such a ship. Well, yes, that's that is exactly why we are extracting the space tax from you. <laughs> uh, there, there. It's obviously not as large for the most majority of the vessels in this area. But since you are wealthy enough to have a pleasure cruise, there's a pleasure addition on it. And what if I wanted to give you another opportunity to do other work? (laughs) Another opportunity for other work? Why? That sounds dangerous and most unrewarding. Why would I do honest work when I can do this? 
I mean, being a tax collector is the easiest job there is when you have these big guns. <laughs> well, what well, my assets are in the physical, so if you're wanting to collect the tax, you're going to have to come closer. Yeah, closer than this? Well, well, well. And we being risky with ourselves, we do have shuttles for collection. But perhaps you could send yours for ours, and we will take your donation into consideration when we determine where we start our practice rounds this week. Did they actually want us to board their ship? Drop off the things, cause uh hmm. now shall, shall it be that we will retrieve our money from your wreckage, or shall we be receiving an a hefty donation in our bank accounts? We will give you one hour to to deliberate. Ta da. Okay. And as they go off, do we have any idea how close <laughs> my patrol corvettes are? Let's contact them. Yeah, do you want to let these guys know that you're contacting your reinforcements? Well, I'm not going to They be may enough. take that as a. I might not. I will. What I'm going to do is instead of like doing a, a general broadcast, I mean, I'm assuming we've got like, is there communication lasers? You are sure there's not equipped with communications lasers. Uh, so it's just general radio or something like that we're using. Yeah. Like shit. Um... Hey, Nevin, now that we've got a target here. Would it be a bad idea to scan them deeper and see what the, how many crew they have, what their weapon systems like, how really dangerous these guys are? I mean, we can certainly try, but we would most likely get discovered. Yeah, if we actively ping them, that'll that'll be the thing. Huh? All right, well, well, Captain. Well, that is the good news, and they are close enough that we could try and do it with passive sensors oh, it's yes. not going to be an easy one but we could try it I'm not rolling this out <laughs> what would be the drawbacks on this what's the worst case scenario that happens well uh, you don't get any information as it's passive, or we get wrong information. That's also an option uh, because of the background radiation. All right. Well, I could roll this. I say that's the worth a plan. Mm, fine. Engaging scanners. Oh, well, engaging the <clears throat> extended <That's> analysis. <laughs> See? That's why you roll, not me. <laughs> roll me an extra one day six, please. Yeah. <laughs> right. So as you scan this the ship, yeah, you get information back. Oh, good job, good job for what we got here. The ship is crewed by a crew of 30 people. Uh, they seem to be a mix of Centauri and uh, and some lesser, lesser servant races of Centauri. Well, ma mainly hum <coughs> uh, it's humanoids of several types. Uh, but, yeah, it, by, by, by uh, judging by it, it's severely, severely underhanded for its size. You estimate it should have at least 60 to, uh, 60 to 80 people for proper operation. So, my suggestion would be to 
somehow with your very apt <clears throat> communication skills, convince them that there's something on board that we have that is of greater value and that they should dock with our ship and then we could dispatch them a few at a time rather than them trying to shoot us out of the, the sky. Oh, say, hey, would you take uh, diamonds? Or we have a, ca a chest full of uh, Ducats? I mean, they want 5 million Ducats, so what's what would be more advantageous for them to take than 5 million Ducats? Historical items like that. The eye <laughs> that you don't have. We don't have, but I'm sure we still have old video footage of it. Mm -hmm. Well, would they believe you have the eye when it's officially in the hands of the Emperor? <clears throat> I mean, while I this pains me to suggest. You do have cash money. You and looted ship. cash money from the uh, from, from, from the bogus bounty back in the day and you have stashed it on board Jagaranda. Uh -huh. There you go. So we say we actually have the money. I mean... It's like take, take a camera like Cash money, come git. <laughs> yeah. All right, so they come out, they come over, they send what five, ten, however. I mean, we we'll, we just wait by wherever the docking is being commenced, and a fire hole. Or <laughs> we 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 kill them all. I mean, and I, then I, they I, have less ship people to crew the thing, and then we spring the trap on them and reverse it, and take their ship. I am not condoning killing them all, but <clears throat> we should subdue enough where they are no longer a threat. Captain, hmm. what do you think of Pooh and such riffraff closer? Say again. What do you think will pull in the riffraff closer to us? Yeah, I like that idea of showing them the cash. Yeah, showing them the money, saying, you have it here. They just need to come get it. And once they get here, we take them out, and then they'll have less people on their ship. And then ultimately, our mission is to get their ship. We uh, target their weapons and their jump systems, then they're setting ducks, right? Sure. <laughs> uh, we don't. No, we don't target the jump systems because if they try, try to jump and we've damaged them, it blows up the shit. But taking out the weapons or. Hmm. It's like, I just wish we had a big iron cannon. We could just fire at that ship and just disable it in one go. Well, step yeah. one is step one is still to bring them over on board, right? Yeah. Film yeah. the cash and yeah. then we'll go from there. I mean, on the scanners, did they show that they had any like shuttles or anything on the scanners? Well, uh, you know that they have they have fighter crafts, according to the rumors. Uh. Wait, Pierre, was that uh, skin enough to show off their weapons? What what do they got? Uh, according to this uh, this scan, they have five turrets. Uh, as far as state capabilities, I would assume they are standard Centauri pulse cannons. 
what? Do we have an idea of the... Yikes. Of what the actual firing arcs are? Mm, yes, they should be, you should be able to use all of these against us. Is there any place where we can move that would delimit that? Yes, uh, somewhat. In combat situations, our ship is not the most maneuverable, though. It takes quite a lot of speed. How about... How about once they come on board, we signal the other two fighters to come. They'll be loath to fire upon their own troops. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, but at the same time, I'd hate to have to be battling their ships and people on our board at the same time. <clears throat> Hence why if we can get them to dock with our ship, it's a little harder to shoot a ship that you're currently uh -huh. attached to. In other words, we have to make them suggest that we've got a lot more money that can't just go onto, or enough stuff that can't go onto one fighter or one shuttle. They have to bring it. You could invite them to enjoy the jacuzzi. I got it. We tell them that uh, they're free to take the... We say we have something big in the cargo. No, we don't have exactly weapons. We do have, uh, or what? We don't have exactly some cash. We have a, a valuable something or other that takes a big, big things. Uh, mechanical parts, uh, um, resource. Oh, what's that mineral? That mineral that we got uh, when we were finding out that. Uh, at the mineral place, uh, very rare stuff that makes all the jump drives work. We're transporting that. Faulty. Yeah. And that means that they have to come over here and grab and grab it. These are all options. These are all options. It's up to you to decide which one to go with. I, I, I say we offer them the money, say we have some goods that they can offload off our ship, but they are going to have a dock, dock with us to get it. It's the only way. You can't, you know, transfer money because you wouldn't be account for very long if you did something like that. And for sure, our shuttle is broken. Yes. You don't have a shuttle. I don't have a shuttle there, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have a shuttle, but we're not that is not on the table. <laughs> yeah, I'll So what we'll do is we'll get all the stuff like all the paintings and all that and just say, look. You can take from the the heirlooms and all that. I'm well, to save face, I cannot have. That's what I'm gonna. Yeah. So I'll message them. Ding ding. Um, well, 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 uh, my lord. Have you come to decision already? I'll pay your tax, but. You got to understand. I cannot just pay it out of my own accounts. People will hear about it and I will lose face. I have how got... unfortunate for you. Yeah, of course. But I am. Well, I do have items on the ship that will cover you for that cost. Items that we would have to sell and peddle. Sounds toilsome. I hope they're made of gold or something along those lines. Ah, oh, some of the 
the frames uh, for the paintings are solid gold. Frames on paintings, solid gold. That doesn't sound like a lot of it. Are you sure you are actually a count and just not pretending to be one? Oh, fuck. <laughs> if you knew, if your intelligence is as good as you say it is, you'll know who I am. Yes, I am belittling your, uh, your amount of money at your disposal. What? You're telling me you don't even have a stash of gold bars in, in a vault somewhere? <laughs> no, I think you have to come if you can find it. It's so that's a keep. no, isn't it? <laughs> I... Hmm. What do you want? Seriously. Um... I do believe I mentioned uh, uh, the sum of five million ducats. <coughs> That's what I want. It's, it would go a long way towards our recreational fund. <laughs> recreational fund. <laughs> yes, the crew has been quite eager to have a vacation. Yes. That she is. It's like don't think you're gonna do a thing I mean you it's, what it's like you call yourself a pirate but you won't actually try and board a ship you don't know what I'm carrying give me best wish This will be when I roll fucking double ones, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Hey, give me best version with a boon, by the way. <laughs> you are hitting his sore spot, his pride. <laughs> Seven. And so an eight. eight. There's one. There's one one. So it's an eight. Yeah. So he's like. <clears throat> Don't tempt me, Count. I, we could overpower you with a whim. All we want is the money and nobody has to die for it. Well, give them the cash that we have on board and that's all we got. Oh, then can you repeat that? My audio just crapped out for a second. Just give them the cash that we have on board, Captain. It's not worth it. It's like he doesn't and I'm like I'm like this, I'm going he doesn't need to Well then I do suppose it, I do suppose then that we will have to deal with this in the matter of arms, eyes. Gentlemen, see you on the flip side. The connection is over. And fear is like, um, they seem to be launching fighters. Battle stations, everybody. Uh, uh, uh Nevin, get on the turrets. Uh, battle stations, contact the fighters. Let's get ready. Shit's coming down. You don't want Nevin on the turrets. <laughs> no, we don't want Nevin on the turrets? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Lanon on the turrets, then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you might want me on the turret because I've got Gunner also. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not warrior case <laughs> at all. Okay, well, shit hit the fan. They they didn't buy it. They're not coming for us. Now they're fucking gunning for us. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, uh, 
military tactics, naval tactics. Let's start uh, contacting their our dudes. Yeah. Getting in positions. Uh-huh. Uh, face, face us forward, and Captain, I need you to tell us, give us, give us commands. <laughs> We're looking for page number one fifty-five. I'm saying we need to increase the Jacarana's thrust. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, this is how Derek died. Yeah. What's your I, naval tactics at? You're the um, best one for that portion of it, I yeah. think. Naval tactics is one. Yeah, same as me. <laughs> So, so how far is are these corvettes? <laughs> yes, uh, the corvettes. Two uh... D six turns. What, what? You, you let us know. <laughs> oh, also, uh, jammers jam their their uh, jam their sensors. Jam everything. They would be on the flip side and about that uh, that far. Oh, that's going to take a while for them to get to get to us. Because... We're full of fueled, aren't we? For the J-Jives. Yeah. Very long. They are long range. Do you want to warp to this to where they're at over here? It takes ten thrusts to get to where, <laughs> from from long to medium. <laughs> no, I'm hoping that if we just jump and uh -huh. like shock them, and then we come up behind them and drop yeah, out. Technically, you can jump twice. Yeah. I mean, uh, okay. But let's still start with initiative. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Lennon tells you, uh, not Lennon, Veer uh, tells you, Veer uh -huh. tells you that uh, one of them is a apparently a transport ship uh -huh. that uh, got out. Why isn't not showing the nameplate R? You should be able to see it, but it's not saving. Because I'm just saying that it's going to be at a DM minus two for astrogation and engineering checks for whoever decides to roll to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what are we? All right. So what do we roll? What do we roll? Uh, 2D6 plus the pilot's skill rating plus the ship's max thrust. So 2d6 plus 3. And how much thrust does that ship have? One. Your ship has 1. So 2d6 plus 4 for initiative. Love them. Okay, I'm going to do my naval tactics. Yeah, so my naval tactics was a seven. <laughs> naval tactics is seven, so that gives you a minus one on your, on your initiative. Yeah. Oh boy. So ten. Ten on the initiative then. You win. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we can. Uh, well, we can move to, nope. No, no, we did a jump. Oh, we're, you're doing the jump. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So that means uh, just an astrogation check at minus two and an engineering check at minus two. Yeah. So fear and, 
Fresh. Dugar, who just got back. Uh, engineering check is under Miyama's purple. Under Miyama, okay, Miyama. Yes. Okay, Miyama. So, so we're fine there. Uh, so, Miyama is, doesn't say what her plus is, is for engineering. So first you roll astrogation. Which would be fear. Yep. And you need to do that at a quick pace, because this is an uh, extemporary plan. Uh-huh. All right. Roll 2d6 plus what? That's why I was, that's was at a minus two because we're in it. Uh, Investigation for fear is plus one. That's not his. So, so it's a minus. I mean, who, who, who? No one has investigation, or is afraid to have investigation? Nobody does. Okay. Uh, fear has minor investigation. Okay, so plus you one. So have actually... a, you don't have a dedicated investigator. All right, so is that is that a minus one? Yeah. Because we're because we're rushing. Yeah. All right, so you want you want me to keep. Months. All right, here we go. There we go. Seven. Seven. It requires an eight to be complete. You can risk it, and he, uh, he knows that he's doing a rush calculation. Oh. Mm. Uh, and you're risking it in combat, in combat uh, occasion, so the jump check is next. Okay. So, engineer J Drag up. So, what is her, her hers? Hers is. Yeah. is, 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 is that? Uh, check out the crew, Miana Vesa, and uh, she gets a plus one. So, 2d6 minus one again. <laughs> it's right. an and easy I'm... check, so you need to get a four. I got a seven. So mm-hmm. you jump. Well, actually, it brings the checks to down to 1d minutes within one combat round. Checks to bring the time down to one D minutes within one combat round. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Uh, what page was that in? It's on page one sixty. Let me just grab the book. This might not have been the best idea of mine. Yeah. <laughs> no. I think, well, it's, you, I think it you, takes one D six minutes. Under but normal it's with, situations, but yeah. to do it faster, you take a minus two penalty, and it takes one yeah, round instead. It takes one combat round, so and that's uh, one combat round is one minute. So. Yep. So basically, we don't jump yet. We jump at the end of the combat round. Well, you jump before any of the enemy shells hit you, because in okay. this system, you everything uh, happens at once. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, the utility thing is the last thing you do, but you apparently don't do. No, no. I like that. So as they're coming and you're right about to, we disappear yeah. and and yeah. we reappear very well. So you jump out and there's something happening in there, but you are sitting in hyperspace somewhere. Oh. All right. By the way, roll me uh, 4d6, please. Ooh, oh. so random location that we may find. <laughs> yep. uh, I'm just uh, do, doing some calculations in my head, and I need some Wrong randomness number. into it. Nine. Uh, is this one we wish we actually sneaked out of this? Yeah. This is probably the stress damage we've done to the ship already. Yep, um, nothing, nothing that you notice. It's something that happens without your knowledge. Anyway. See, this is... I blame you. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, we so, accidentally summoned the shadow ship. So you're in space. Mm-hmm. And as you are in space, there's an incoming call for Mr. Malone. Oh boy, I think I may have cried. Uh Oh no, what do we got? What do we uh, got? Actually, Malone, you froze. You're frozen. Yeah, yeah I know. You can still hear me though, right? Yeah, we can, yeah. We can hear you. Uh, Alright, it'll only take a second. Okay, fair enough. Well, you want to see your face, so we'll just do something else. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, then we can actually start drawing that moustache and the horns. <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> Let's see what, oh, what I can do to Lone's face while he's gone. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> no, I'm back. There it is. <laughs> Stuff's been going weird. That's all. Right. So you okay. get a message. So there's an incoming message during this 
this time. And it's a, it's a bit call from unknown source. Uh, yeah. Well, listen. What do we got? Well, as, as you open up the video call, there's Mr. Morden. Of course. Uh, of course it is. Morden, oh. what, what's going on? Now's not a good time. We're in the middle of something. Oh, my my apologies. Uh, it was just a quick message. Uh, I was going to ask if you had seen any markups lately. I'm trying to find find uh, all all the refugees from the homeworld. The Markobs? Uh, uh, no. Uh, sorry, I can't help you there. Well, if you see any, do relay a notice towards me at your earliest convenience. That is all. Uh, good day. Sure. Yeah, sorry to cut this short. We're in the middle of something. Bye. Click. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Right, I got time for this, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Meanwhile, uh, the calculations are complete. Uh, we are ready to jump in. Uh, you wanted us behind uh, the enemy, yes? Yes. Very well. Behind him, not close, not close to the uh, Corvettes. Oh no, we're gonna jump in behind them and fire, trying to and cross, cross fire them. All right. Bas basically, we're gonna cross the T behind them and rake shot them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right as you come out of the hyperspace this is where you find yourselves in you should be able to see that you are yep. right on top of the bad guy <laughs> like it's right there right next yeah. to you but either i'm just gonna go channel my inner neo Fire for fun! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you get a free shot at them if you want. Yeah, there's going to be nothing left of this ship, and they will or, be right back where at. Or you have a unique opportunity to try and dock it before they notice you're there. I would do that. Boredom. <laughs> Boredom. Yeah. Docking actions on the Jacaranda by Frasier. Time out. Well. Hang on, though. There's 30 of them. Yeah, but we still need to keep the shit. I mean, we've taken out more than that. Uh, We're not saying uh, Lano and this like, uh, yes, it would be an unfair fight. They need at least sixty. <laughs> 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 I mean, we're not saying taking all thirty at once. We you know we take cover. We room by room by room cleared room out. By room, room by room. Yeah. Yep. yeah, exactly. We bring them down the murder hole. This is Zim talking, not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, full on weaponry going down. All right, yep. Captain, what's your command? Prepare board in action. So 163. <laughs> All right, emergency. Luckily, we actually still have that boarding equipment from us. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> oh, no. That was stolen. Uh, well, then, how are we going to board up? You need to actually do a ducking maneuver against yeah. a unwilling, uh, unwilling target. Oh boy! That's oh right. boy! Luckily, we have a good pilot for that, right? Resolve yeah. boarding action. Both sides roll two D. A pilot following modifiers, and then the defender deducts his total from the attacker. The final score is then compared to boarding action. Good God! What's our chances? There is a whole table for doing boarding action. <laughs> There's. Oh god. Let me just get the right rule book. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> so. So basically, we both roll two of these. And we get pluses and minuses depending on what we all have. Like, Woo. Defender has no Marines on duty. I would consider them all pirates, not Marines, so they should keep the money. <laughs> Well, in theory, that ship takes 60 guys to run. They've got well, actually, so... they get a plus three because they have vastly superior numbers than we do. Yeah, but we're not going to do this by the boarding thing. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you're doing something special. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're doing this personally, so it's not a crew and crew battle. It's you and them battle. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm just saying what we have to roll to in order to, you know, Doc. get attached. Yep. <laughs> Which page was up. it on? No, blah, 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 blah. 163 for boarding. There we go. Ah, I think I may have crashed again. Gosh darn it. Yes. What's wrong with your program? Uh, what's wrong with my program? Is the oh, green screening? I'm sure. That's in the high guard. The high guard book does have boarding on yeah. the personal scale. So many books to have. God, yep. Dog it. That's why I have the high guard. Well, I don't because. Uh -huh. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, that costs money. I have a PDF. <laughs> have you. A PDF. Bec that's because you bought other game systems. Hey man, Shame don't judge on me. you. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> I judge everyone. <laughs> What page is that on for boarding? Belt mining, creating the expanse for space crafts of the space craft options. Uh, it actually doesn't say where in high guard it is, is it? No. Nope, it just says in uh, high guard. High guard. Detail rules for conducting boarding actions on the personal, personal scale. scale. Allows you to play through a blow by blow scenario that sees the traveler. Wow. Damn. I don't think. They don't have it in the quick guide. It's capital C five is. Uh, um, it, might, it might be a leftover for Mongoose first edition, but yeah, it should be in the high guard, but it's not in this one. Or do you may want to maybe call this the cliffhanger? No, no, no. We're not calling it cliffhanger. We still have <laughs> a half an hour to go. Yeah. I like well, that whole piloting. Just... Piloting to get to it. Okay. Being able to dock, and once we're there, we take him out, take him out room by room. Yep. All right, yeah. Or five at a time, six at a time. So yes, let's try docking into it, shall we? Yeah. Yep. Boarding action takes two day rounds to complete. When result, yeah, yeah, but that's that's considering that you do that but yeah yeah we're gonna struggle snuggle that ship <laughs> wait <laughs> yeah i'm coming up for cuddles <laughs> right so uh, let's just have you roll your piloting skill and versus their piloting skill. So, yeah. Roll me 3d6s and roll yourselves the piloting skill with 3d6s. Do we have thrust. any bonuses? Because we have a kick ass pilot. You have plus one for the thrust, and your pilot, I believe, gives you a plus two. Plus two. And because you completed her loyalty quest, he, she gets a plus one. So, that plus. sounds like 3d6 plus four. <laughs> Oh, actually, he's uh, her piloting checks are plus three, so it's plus four with the with the thing, so a little plus five. Plus. This is like Mass Effect. You you've made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so have I? I'm not not sure where our loyalty quest for the guards went. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, your loyalty quest quest for Dujar is uh, off the table for now <laughs> <laughs> because you left i am not dead yeah I... did we sort of yeah <laughs> all right so i rolled 3d6 plus 5 as you requested Ooh, 18. Right. Okay. Uh, you you don't count all of those, but I also need a three d six for me. Oh, you want us to roll that too? Yeah. Who wants to roll oh, my three d six? Zimmy. Why don't you roll that, please? <laughs> <laughs> What's Zimmy roll three sixes in a row? I kill you. I fucking kill you now. Any any pluses? No, no, no. Don't give, get any pluses. The pluses are mine. Thank you. There you go. Rolling the pluses low. are a secret. <laughs> Rolling low. Rolling low. Per usual. Well, technically it's the top two that count, not the, top, not the last ones. Uh, 
On my still vacations. lower than still lower than him. <laughs> you, gentlemen, managed Brace for to managed to attach your shell yourselves to the enemy vessel before they realize that you are coming in. It's you shaking, but not a ship that looks odd. <laughs> <laughs> That looks so wrong. I'm just you, literally you just shaking do the this. little camera. Yeah. <laughs> but because you have a screen screen, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it does look all weird. <laughs> Board it. Okay. So you managed to snuggle, snuggle that ship. You are <laughs> locked in against the enemy. Your so troops are congregating in the zero g hatch your rotating section is rotating the enemy is confused their fighters are engaging the wrong targets and you get to do the boarding and this is where we have the cliffhanger okay <laughs> fair enough great <laughs> never, never was born for this it's all hitman like <laughs> 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 Next session, we will have uh, the dungeon adventure of the hobo, uh, the murder hobo style. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> they could have just came and took the money and then, you know, but no. no. We didn't convince them. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Oh. nope. We still got what we wanted in the yep. end. Mm -hmm. So, it's been about time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well. I took a bit different turn than I expected. I had a couple other, uh, well, technically I did expect this one too. Uh, I, it just took longer than I expected. I expected mm. it to be much further along and much shorter time. Uh, but I don't think half an hour is going to be enough to complete the ship no. on, uh, the probably the not crew combat section. So we can <laughs> leave it that uh, leave that for the next episode and see. The three of us, well, four, six, maybe plus thirty. Yeah, it might take a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is where we go in with our combat suits, our EVA suits, and actually hit the engineering and just shut down life support. Oh, oh God, no! Like, oh, that's so evil. That is that is very dark. <laughs> See that, or hit them, or just pump up a wee bit more CO two, and you just knock them out. Hey, hey, hey! And then we space them. Me, Lanon, and Malone, we got this. <laughs> ten for all of us. Each one of us can take at least ten. <laughs> Oh, that that's. And you, and you gotta think, there are some people out there on fighters, so that takes there's there's three ships out there with nobody with people on it. So that's yeah. That's how many people are actually on the ship right now? Well, two two fighters probably like at most. Um, let's see if it's two man fighters. Ah, uh, there's also the, also the transport. I actually hit yeah it, hit it. Four. So the transport so is probably gonna have some crew on it. Probably the invasion crew. So it's at least you... five. Not here. So we got twenty five. You we got do. this. Hmm. Yeah, sure. We got this. You know what we need? We need more Malones. <laughs> <laughs> can, we get, yeah. uh, can we just get nine character sheets? <laughs> <laughs> Too much Malone for me. Too much Malone yeah. for me. I, 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 I just discovered these things. I don't know why I've never played with them before. <laughs> because you didn't need to. But now you do. You know no, just go on the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> this is your captain speaking. <laughs> Crew oh, battle stations. Oh, no, no. Oh, New York. Better. Here we go. New York. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty badass. <laughs> That's pretty badass. <laughs> All right. Oh, we you know will what? Launch the invasion of your Earth in one of your Earth hours. <laughs> uh, Malone, our our objects are bigger than they appear. <laughs> oh. Uh, right, by I'm the way, this. next week is the third Saturday of this week. Is it not? Is it? Yeah. It. 
Sure. It is. One, two, three. It is. Yeah. Like, it's, it's my birthday anyway, so that's... Okay, it's your birthday too, so, okay. So, uh, announcement being no Babylon project next week, because Simi has a birthday and we all want him to have a nice birthday without having to be guilty about missing a session. And uh, be... Malone moved to New uh, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be deeper into thirties next next week. Deeper into the thirties. That sounds deeper so deep. Deeper into the thirties. Yep. <laughs> yep. I know how it sounded. He went there. He went there. He totally <laughs> did. <laughs> so. <clears throat> So anyway, the next session is going to be on the 22nd. Yes. Then. Hopefully 29th and 7th and uh, 14th are going to be slam dunks and we're going to have the uh, we're going to do those like uh, without a break. Hopefully. You look good for 29. Yes. He does look good for 29. I'm good. Okay. Sleepier. Woo! Um I'm good. I'm good all those days. Does that mean that it's your it's four more extra years for your on your birthday? No. So yeah, uh, yeah, we should no. have. No, uh, did anybody have any anything to do on the twenty second, twenty ninth, seventh, or fourteenth? No. Uh, next month. This and uh, the uh, the rest of the Saturdays on this and next month until mm -mm. the until the scheduled break on. I should 16th. be pretty good. I'm no longer going to Mexico. No. Sadness. Good. I can't I... join you in Mexico. Can't. Oh, I... uh, we never got a chance to talk about this. How'd you all enjoy the Super Bowl? The what? Super Bowl. I didn't. Well, I'm, the, 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 I'm I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I'm not waking up at 1 o'clock in the morning to watch anything. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. That is I mean, if, I, if, I, if I didn't go to work the next day, I probably would have, but... We don't have to work the next day. No. Yeah, it think. was a fantastic game, and Shakira and J Lo shook their ass on national stage, and everybody fucking lost their mind. Okay, fine. If that's something uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, th this is the thing. I think people are remembering it more for J Lo and Shakira than the actual football that got played. You mean Hedig? <laughs> I, I refuse to call that thing football. There's no when well, there's no balls and there's no feet involved in using those balls. You're no, the lack of balls. You're correct. There is a ball. They, they kick. kick the ball constantly. What yeah. ball? The there's not a single ball in that game, including oh. the players. I mean, sorry, <laughs> the pigskin. The the football is the same shape is is roughly the same shape as a rugby ball. So you can't they can't call it a ball. I, I, uh, I'm going to call it a ball. <laughs> yeah. Ball needs to have this certain sphere likeness to be a ball. Someone just sat on that for a while. <laughs> Which way was it when they sat on it? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But anyway, I like the term handing much better because you cradle it in your hands and you transport it with your hands and you toss it around with your hands. Yeah. So, yeah. Miata Miss Dugar. We don't know, Frog. She will never admit it if she did. We need to have somebody play as Miana to find out. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think we're ever gonna like actually go into her quarters and see if she's got a Dugar shrine. That's, by the way, one option you guys can do. When you die, you can take over the NPCs. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Malone is contemplating suicide right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I could that play Miana. pretty badass. <laughs> I could play uh, Miana. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 can go, Miana. <laughs> I, I, I can go up Miana. My sh shooting skills will go up. Miana is the cruise regular. regular uh, I, I have I have terrible shooting skills. It's you hilarious. think about it, how many times has there been a born action? I see just like headshots. Yeah. People. I can't do it because uh, I die too much. So you would you would never have a crew. The crew would be constantly revolving. <laughs> 
<laughs> Every episode, new crew yeah. member because him had to die this week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so for the record, uh, this year I quit the vaping, or at least I'm trying to quit the nicotine. There's zero nicotine. I still have the urge, although I think this will probably be my last month. I quit smoking altogether. Yeah. Also, I, quit... I have lost the first 10 kilos out of the 40 kilos I'm trying to lose. So, yay! Oh, goals for everybody. <laughs> goals. So, so new, new Year's resolution is so far holding. Ah. We'll see about that in about two days. The only thing <laughs> thinning on me is my hair. Alright, that was a bad joke. <laughs> Uh, uh, the only thing thinning on me is the pain thinner in my nose. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh that's bad. That's, that's horrible. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think we are too tired, too, yeah. annoy, uh, too annoying to stay on the air. Thank you, our audience, for being here. Thanks. Ugh, pardon and, me. And the only thing thinning in me is my wallet. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no there's Thank some way to lose some pounds in Britain at least <laughs> that's one way to lose your pounds <laughs> I just lost 90 pounds today what? gambling <laughs> that's a good joke actually that was pretty good I lost 10 pounds since New Year's to what? gambling <laughs> to what? poker it's it's, it's brilliant when you can say, I lost I lost £100, but I gained £90. What? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. At the uh, same time. Anyway, anyway. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support. And also, thank you, Sparrow Black, for following us. Ooh. That's appreciated. And hope to see you next week. Uh, no, not next week. Next time. We'll be on in two weeks' time. And hopefully... We'll have there will a, be some battles. nice space battles going on. Oh, yes. Prepare Get to your die. lasers ready for combat is about to come. Probably and I actually guns. have lasers. You have lasers. I you finally have... get to use them. I get to use my lasers. Zero G lasers. Yep. To lose, suckers. Oh, sorry. Bonus nachos. Bonus, Bonus nachos. nachos. <laughs> Bonus nachos. <laughs> <laughs>